In just over an hour, fans will be filling Lynn Family Stadium for the Loose City game. But Isaiah Kim Martinez is live, explaining they don't plan to be the usual loud crowd that you see at these games. Isaiah. Well, Shay, for the first 45 minutes or so, there will be far fewer chants, far fewer, fewer banners, supporter groups taking an, an extended moment of silence to essentially mimic that lack of response from Racing Louisville's front office for a couple days. Diehard fans of Racing Louisville have been waiting hours for an apology toward players. Two days now with no radio silence, that, that, that's incredibly disappointing and heartbreaking. And while they've finally gotten one, they're already looking toward next steps. Consequences for anyone who knew this was a problem and reform to make sure this doesn't ever slip under the radar in the WSL or any other sports league ever again. We want to see them as safe places where people can play the game that they love without fear of sexual, verbal, or any other type of harassment. The sidewalk messages just outside Lynn Family Stadium's entrance are powerful. Some reading, quote, arrest Holly. Others saying JOC out, referencing the initials of James O'Connor. And of course, the letters NDA, standing for non-disclosure agreement with a line crossed through it. A lot of anger, a lot of pain, because we know that the community itself is hurting. Supporting groups like the Louisville Coopers and the Lavender Legion are preparing to wear teal tonight for sexual assault awareness. Many fans planning to protest both in and out of the stadium. Sure, some of them will do it through protesting, some of them will do it through not going to concessions. Today I honed in on talking to supporters who are men, asking why it's vital they take a stance too. I think the biggest enemy to getting change in uh, situations like this is male apathy and not showing up. Men like Michael Shaw and Ken Luther saying it's plain and simple. And if men don't step up and support alongside women, what does that make us? What does it? Nothing. Unhonorable. The path forward isn't clear, but the community has made it obvious where they stand. And a member of Lavender Legion tells me to expect a significant uptick in messaging, both written and vocally in that second half of tonight's Lou City game. Of course, our night team will be inside covering it all for you and showing you those pictures and sounds, of course, here at 11 o'clock. For now, live here in Louisville tonight, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side.